Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I thought I would do something a little bit different and I'm going to do a monthly favorites video. So I was recently thinking about how much I miss like old YouTube where I felt like the content was less about ads and more about kind of objective, genuine product reviews. And now I'll be honest, I actually don't really mind ads that much, but I kind of miss seeing all of these favorite videos. I feel like it's a really good way to get recommendations kind of from an objective person and kind of expose yourself to different things. So I figured if I miss it so much, why don't I create one of my own? Maybe we'll bring it back in style. So yes, with that, let's get into it. So I kind of have a bunch of products. It's kind of all over the place, but I didn't want to do just one genre. So I figured I would talk about a few things that I've been loving this month. So the first thing that I have been obsessed with is I finally am hopping on the Olaplex bandwagon. So I got this set and I am I will tell you every, all the products that I've been using and discuss my experience. So basically the first thing I've been using is their shampoo and conditioner. So first of all, I will discuss more about these. Obviously I will acknowledge they are very pricey, um, but yeah, these are the ones that I've been using. I bought them directly from Sephora because I know that there's a huge issue with Amazon having like uh, imitation ones that aren't real. So I bought them from Sephora. Um, so I've been using those. I've been using the hair mask, the number three once a week and then i've been using the hair oil after i get out of the shower and before i like blow dry my hair so i have always had issues with my hair it has been dry it's been frizzy it's been like weirdly textured and over the years it like falls out due to stress as well but right now this is my hair after using the products i used them two days ago and this is what my hair looks like it is way less greasy than it usually is because i have quite thin hair and I didn't blow dry it or anything. This is my hair just like naturally air dried and it is so incredibly soft. Obviously you can't feel it, but every time someone talked about Olaplex, I was like, I don't really know if a shampoo could do that for you. I'm gonna stick to my Pantene over here because obviously it is super expensive, but I'm not one to buy into the hype and this is so worth it. Truly, if you've been having issues with your hair, I would highly, highly recommend just spend the money and splurge on this because it has made my life so much better. Okay, the second thing I'm going to want to talk about is a podcast that I've been listening to recently. So this podcast is called The Diary of a CEO, and it is actually based out of the UK, but I really like it. It kind of reminds me of Shark Tank in that they speak to investors, they talk about forming their business, but it's kind of more modern than a lot of the, or younger, targeted to a younger audience than a lot of the more business podcasts that I've listened to in the past. So I like it because it has the CEOs of businesses that I use. And, you know, I feel a lot of the podcasts that are about business and starting a company and entrepreneurship, they're all kind of targeted toward kind of established businesses, um, older entrepreneurs, but this podcast kind of focuses on younger entrepreneurs, but also people who just come in and talk about really interesting topics. So the episodes that I've really liked, one was with the CEO of Gymshark, which was really cool. Another one was with a Love Island influencer that I found really interesting. And another that I really liked, which was in a completely different vein, was the author of a book who talked about why we're like kind of so addicted to our phones and our attention span issues nowadays. So yeah, would highly recommend that podcast. And it's also really interesting. It's run by I think the guy founded a few companies. I don't know any of them personally, but he's also on the UK version of Shark Tank. So I've really been enjoying that. Also, the episodes are pretty long, which I also like because I spend a lot of time in my car driving places. So it's nice to have like one thing that you could just put on. Also, it'll last you an entire gym session if that's what you're into. So yeah, I would highly recommend that. I've been listening to a lot of those episodes. My dogs are upset. So yeah, I would highly recommend that. I have been listening to a lot of those episodes recently. Okay, the next thing I wanna recommend is kind of out there, or not, it's kind of random. Um, but I have been loving these Trader Joe's vegan chicken nuggets. Okay, let me show you. This is what they look like. They are so easy to make. I pop them in the air fryer, but I've also made them in the oven. And I will show you some pictures of the salads that I made with them. Oh, my dog is coming over because he thinks I'm about to feed him. Yeah, I've been loving these. I throw them on top of salads. Wait one second, I need him to not eat this. But yeah, I, they're so easy to throw on top of the salad. They're a good source of protein and they taste way better than a lot of like the other kind of like vegan chicken products that I have tried before. So I'm, I'm not currently a vegetarian, but I was a vegetarian for many, many years, especially when I was younger. 
So I've tried a lot of the products on the market and I think this one is actually particularly good and I would recommend trying it. Even people I know who don't traditionally like vegan products have liked this. Okay, the next item. So I have been back home, but usually I am up at school, which is in upstate New York, which is so cold. But recently I have been loving this heating pad that I have. Let me show you what it looks like. So it's like a kind of rectangle and it gets pretty warm and then, but it does have a cord attached to it. And then you can select the setting. They have like low, medium and high, but I have been sleeping with one of these every single night. My home has been getting kind of cold, but it's just like so comforting and relaxing and they're not even that expensive. I will link the one that I got from Amazon. It was like 20 bucks, I think. And honestly, such an improvement to quality of life. I also like to put it on my chair while I'm studying or in class and it's just like kind of comforting and warm. And last Christmas, I actually bought one for every single member of my family and we all kind of forgot about it. And then we all kind of started using them again and they're just so great. Every single person in my family likes it. It is a great gift for literally anyone also because everyone seems to enjoy it and it's unisex and you know, age proof. Okay, the last thing that I want to recommend, and I know this like product had a lot of hype, but I am, probably like three years late to the bandwagon, but I recently got a Hydro Flask water bottle, finally. So yeah, I have been loving this, truly obsessed, because I feel, felt once I went to law school, like I was drinking a lot less water. So I've always had a swell bottle, but this might sound silly, but the it's kind of small, like 17 ounces is not that much. This is double that. I believe this is the 33 ounce one. And I think that it just makes me drink so much water because I'm like, I know I need to drink two of these throughout the day. And the other big difference between this and the swell bottle is the top. So the top that I got for this one is the straw. And I feel like when I'm drinking out of a straw, I just drink way more water than when I have to actually unscrew a top and drink out of it. And also it keeps my water, my water very cold. I, for one, love ice cold water all of the time in any season, so yeah. I've been loving this and it's really kept me hydrated. So if drinking water is one of your New Year's resolutions, I would highly recommend. And for all the products that I have, I will link them down below. And those are all the products that I wanted to recommend. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of different style video to what I usually make, but I love watching these. I hope they come back in style. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and have a great rest of your day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.